all right yes uh, we are going to be using this and this is called soft kinky yeah those ones who have been asking me wow well, the things that i always use when i'm doing the the extended dreadlocks so this is the soft kinky, uh the kinky the afro kinky that i always tell you that i use when i'm doing the uh the Master. Extended temporary dreadlocks, and this is how it looks in the park. It comes when it is looking like this. So, at this time around, I'm just going to uh, give you um, uh, some tips, like more of the tips, showing you how to do the extended dreadlocks. Uh, so, uh, this is how it looks, and what we do, uh, we're just going to remove some. And I show you how you're supposed to make them soft uh, as we're continuing with our uh, dreadlock tutorial. So to those ones who um, uh, saw the, pre uh, the previous video that I posted showing you how to line, uh, to lock these dreadlocks. So this is the part two that I was saying that we need to see how to do uh, how to lock it so this is how you have to uh, prepare the hair and this is how we make it as this soft just like this because it comes when it is somehow uh, very tight the way you make it look this way just like that so this is how it is just slowly by slowly what you should always do uh when you get this uh, hair piece you just have to make sure that you make it as soft as possible uh, so that you uh, uh the, the, the the how you're going to lock it is it's also going to be a uh, very soft so when we're done with that this is how it looks very soft and now let me try to do this we did them these ones yesterday and uh, she had to sleep with them and so uh, those ones who didn't see the other previous video i said we roll it going down and then if it's the on this uh, soft hair we have to use the cross locking and this is the cross locking so when you're locking you don't need to make it rich on the skin because when it reaches on the skin it is going to bring the pain when you apply the extension so this is our extension and uh, we're just going to be applying it and when you put it there you just have to put it on the sides don't do it like maybe uh, uh adding it installing it like in the straight line just have to do it on the side then you separate this into two you cross it this way and then you back comb the kinky back combing this one is going to help us like our hair our extension to be uh to look as ma like to look natural and still it's going to protect the hair that we're going to pass through so that it can stay there as safe as so we like to stay there very safe so this is how we lock it and this is the way we have to lock it mm, just have to do it like this i told you in this video we just have to make sure that we learn these dreadlocks you turn your hand like this you have to turn it at the first place you don't turn it this one just put it up when you reach here you turn it you do it this one you put it up and here you turn it just like this here up and here you turn like that so this one you just have to press the hair to see that it is all inside and uh, i always make it this way so that it is very easy for us to unplay it because remember it is extended dreadlocks and um uh, it is temporary so we need to uh open it after some time you may stay with it with uh, some good year uh like two years even um as long as you you, you you keep on doing the repair it can save for all that time and then uh, the repairing uh, the, the rep uh, it is easy to uh, it is easy to um, 
to unplaid so when the hair is done there what you do you just have to add in you just add okay you just use the kinky itself so the kinky how you get it you just get it from this hair that i was back combing slowly by slowly because when you try to look at this braid i didn't remove anything from it i just continued locking so the kinky you get it from those hair that you're seeing that those that rough rough hair i just pick it from there as i'm locking so that's how easy it is and then now oh, we are going to see up to the end so after doing all that we take we we take it back so that we can protect our locking when we are doing repair so this is how it looks this is how it looks from down then when you're done with that you just come to lock and remember most of the times when we are down here you just have to lock once so this is how you just bring it back the other hair you bring it back this way just like that you bring it back this way this is how it looks just like that so this is very very simple and i know you guys know how to do this though uh we didn't know how uh we can do these steps so those ones who watch my uh, first video so this is how it's supposed to look because if it's this way that means we are uh, we lock we sorry we we shall be doing our repair using that so let's do another dreadlock here so that you can see it well we are passing it this way and separate this into three and then after doing that we start doing the back comb you understand we do the back comb <coughs> excuse me we do the back comb until until the size that we want you see after doing all that back comb then we start passing it is up turn it this way turn it down see turn it this way turn it down so it's the same thing that i'm doing the one i was doing on the other side and then in this video i still i want you to tell me if um like which one should or which one is better if we if like doing it this way or even uh, doing it um uh, the natural way like those dreads that you already see that looks natural but sometimes there is some uh, difficulties that always find when it comes to unplating and then that's why i decided to create these uh, simple simple dreadlocks so that it is easy for you that even you can unplate yourself so here we just have to lock before and then we come back here you turn it back turning back use your hand this way as you're turning bringing it back you pull it like this you bring it back like this you bring it back like this you bring it back like this yes this is how you just have to bring it back you see this is how it looks so when you're done with that let me try to show you this how it looks and then there you will tell me which one you will do which one is the best for you so we are just going still to pass through our kinky this way on the side and then you know, we separate this in two, two we pass this through then after we do the back combing the back combing you need to use that comb that is packed you know the first one yes that one just do it this way so this time around i'm not going to plate it like the way i've been doing mine yes so let me plate it like the way you guys do it do it one but though i didn't try to put her hair inside i just want to show you how this is also done you just have to use since i have this hook it's what i'm using like those ones who have this hook you can still use this but there are those ones who don't have or there are those ones who have uh these um there are those nice ones that 
they have two uh, two sides i will just put the link in my uh in my uh in the description so that you can see how it looks so when you're doing this type it is very very easy for you and it can take a shorter time when you do it with the other hook than using this one because the other one sometimes you find the hook has three three um uh, three tip uh, three um pointers on them so doing this is always easy you can achieve it very nicely so the only thing about this thread for it when you look at it uh, you might think it is uh it is natural you understand that's why maybe people love it but i'm very i'm assuring you that this one and the other one that i created it is still the same like it can all last the same but the only thing is that this one uh this one when it comes to unplating because now when you try to see how uh, this hook is moving trust me if the hair was was there it was going to be very very hard it was going to be very hard like to unplate so this is how for it you just have to keep on doing it to keep on locking it that way so when i reach here you can get these these uh uh, you just have to make sure it's like this. I'm trying to make it smaller so that you can see it well. I'm making it smaller. You can see how you just have to, it takes the way it takes time, but it's just taking time because I have this one. And then you make sure that on top the tip is well uh-huh this is how it looks i didn't try to i didn't put the hair inside because i didn't want to be to, i didn't want i didn't want the hair to be there to disturb me so this is how this one looks so imagine when you look at this it is really it looks like natural but now i'm plating it since i already uh uh hooked all those all those uh the, since i've already uh um crocheted all those uh the way I've, I've been doing but now on this one i just look at the hair and this is my hair the way it looks and i just come and start picking it this way so that's why i would say that you will find very easy uh for you to use this to, to to go with this than using the other one because even when you are alone it is very easy for you to unplate it yourself or even if somebody is sorry someone near you can always uh, uh it is simple to unplate you uh than this other dreadlock so unplating it you see how easy it is it's just because you'll be seeing the hair where it is passing through so this is what i got for you and i think for the parts of uh, when it comes to the dreadlocks you're just going to go straight in my comment section tell me what you feel about these dreadlocks and maybe if we can go on with the other ones or we can use we can go on with this and we our hair can remain protective my name is maurice the crochet master and i would like to say thank you so much for those ones who are subscribing thank you all the return subscribers yes thank you so much for uh, watching and remember we always upload videos every week every week yes so this is what i got for you and please i'm just going to put the other first video for those ones who didn't watch it I'm going to put the link in the description below so that you combine the two and trust me you'll be perfect in doing the extended temporary dreadlocks that is what i always want you to do my name is maurice the crochet master i love you so much may god bless you all bye bye see you guys